My name is uh, Ioni Galospiro and I'm currently a fourth year MEng Chemical Engineering with Biological Engineering student at our department. Chemical engineering at its core has to do with the full design of processes. We start from certain raw materials and we reach the final product and the chemical engineer will be the person who will arrange the order and how this will be achieved. By doing so, chemical engineers manage to acquire a range of knowledge from different engineering fields so you can find them working all over the place. Chemical engineering is a particularly versatile degree, potentially one of the most versatile fields of engineering. With a strong basis in mathematics, chemistry, biology and physics, chemical engineers can work in the energy industry, the pharmaceutical and biopharmaceutical one, in the chemical industry, as well as in other industries you would not quite expect them to. We find chemical engineers in accounting and finance, as well as taking on leadership positions in organizations of all sorts. The reason for this is that as a chemical engineer, you really build on your problem solving skills, something that enables you to solve any problems you may encounter in your future. There's a common misconception that you need to take chemistry in school to be able to apply for chemical engineering. This is not the case though. You can apply for chemical engineering with any science or technology subjects, as well as maths. However, if you're in any doubt about whether you're ready to proceed to a degree or not quite yet, the University of Sheffield does offer you the opportunity to complete a foundation year here first, during which you will obtain all the knowledge you need to continue to your degree with great confidence. Chemical engineering in Sheffield offers the students a wide range of options to customize the degree however you like. The first option is to complete a BEng, namely three years of chemical engineering, which will then offer you the opportunity to either go to the industry immediately or to proceed into a master's, an MSc, which can take place within the chemical engineering department as well, and it lasts for a whole year. The second option is to go for an MEng, the integrated master's degree. This degree lasts four years and it offers you the opportunity to choose a path as well. The third option is to do chemical engineering with an industrial placement year. For this option, you will be taking one year off uni, during which you will be getting hands-on experience in industry. This is something that will definitely work to your benefit once you complete your degree. You will already have experience and you will be much easier integrated in your chosen industry. The fourth option is to complete a year in Australasia. So you will again be taking a year off uni. You will be spending that time in a different campus and it will not only allow you as an opportunity to broaden your cultural horizons, but it will enable you to become a better engineer and I'd say a person in general. So in Sheffield, we start off, of course, with a core chemical engineering concept, which very much have to do with maths, physics and chemistry. In Sheffield, you're offered the opportunity to develop skills in biology. There's modules offered in each semester that have to do with biological processes. This is a really great skill that you will need later on in life and in Sheffield you have the chance to get the expertise you need in this as well. During your final year here, so during your MNG year, you will be offered the chance to look into computational and mechanistic modelling so you will be able to model certain processes taking place in different pieces of equipment. Particularly computational modelling is strongly connected to data analysis so there is an opportunity for you to extend your career path towards an interface between chemical engineering and computer science. Starting from the Faculty of Engineering, great efforts are made towards increasing inclusion and diversity. A particular example of this are the faculty student societies, women in engineering, BAME engineers, as well as LGBTQ plus engineers, who are all working towards just that and doing actually a great work. Moreover, the CBE department is actually a cultural melting pot, where people from all over the world gather together in one department. That means students, academic staff and student support staff as well. Being a student in the CBE department has been an absolutely great experience and I think that you should join us too.